so we've got some filthy 50s happening with five pound weights today. So what we're gonna start with are 50 jumping jacks. Now jacks don't end up working. I add a half jack instead. So shoulders back, belly button in, inhale, exhale. Don't forget to breathe, whatever you do. First 10. Nice and tall, 20. Nice and soft on those feet. 30. Forty, ten more. Eight, nine, and ten. Let it go. Big breath in. Travel down. Sweep. Reach and sweep. Two more. Okay, we're gonna grab those fives. Now from here, lap pull downs. So I'm gonna drive from here. Those arms up. Pull down, squeeze the shoulder blades, push it back up without shrugging. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now squeeze and pull down. Seven, eight, nine, watching your neck. Ten, one, two, three, exhale, four. Five, six, that's the way. Seven, eight, nine, 20, five more. Pull, five, four, and three, two, one more, and one. Great job. Shake it off. Right over left, left over right. So next we've got 25 and 25. We're going into mountain climbers. We're gonna lead with that left foot first, driving it through the arms. So neck comes in neutral, belly button comes in. All right, so starting with the left first. Two, four, six, eight. First time, two, four, Six, eight, five more. One, two, three, four. Push it down, dog. Nice deep breath and shake the nonsense out of your head. Let it go. Now, other foot leads. 25, two, four. Exhale as you pull it in. Six, abs in. Eight. 10, neck and neutral, two, four, six, now eight, 20, two, and four, and push it back again. Great work, drop to your knees, child's pose, rock it side to side, let it go. Big breath in, big breath out. Push back down dog. Either walk your feet into your hands or your hands into your feet. Take those hands right along your shin. Nice flat back. Pull that belly button in really tight. Inhale and exhale. Very good. All right, so we got our lap pull down in. So let's go ahead with our biceps. So as we come through here, what I want you to do is pop up onto your tiptoe as you come up into a calf raise. One, two. Now start to walk your arms slightly out at an angle. Three, but keep the elbows close. Four, five, six. Now, even though the weights are heavy, seven, you can circle. Eight, you can really squeeze. Nine and 10 and pinch it right into your side. Two. Two, three, four, exhale it up for five, six, seven, pop up as you lift up, eight, nine, 
20. All the way up halfway down. One, two, I want you to stop at 90. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 30. All the way down halfway up. One, two, stop at 93. Exhale, four, five, six. Squeeze and lift at seven. Exhale, eight, nine, last 10, hammer up to the shoulder, back down, keep at that angle if you can. Two, now three, four, very nice. Exhale, five, and six, squeeze and lift. Seven, eight, nine, last one, and 10. Fantastic, drop it for a moment, shake it out and shake it back down. So we have half jacks here. What we're gonna do is half jack alternating, stick to one side after that. Now, if the weights become too heavy, bend at your elbows, make it smaller. So, so I want you to sink your energy down low, and as you step, you open, and we're gonna alternate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, now just the right. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, alternate again. Two, four, six, eight, here we go, last five on the right. Three, four, and switch. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work at 50. Let it go, reach it, and sweep it. Inhale, exhale again. Fantastic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break it up kind of throughout the workout to do a total of 50 burpees. Doing them in a row would not be fun. So we're gonna start with our first 10. So as we jump back, watch the abs, keep that belly button pulled in tight. You can also step back or use a chair. If you can jump back, keep that core pulled in. Ready, inhale, back in. One, two, three, inhale, Exhale, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. First ten, open it up, let it go. Sweep it, reach it. Pick up those weights. First tricep move. Take that deep breath in. Bend through your hip, rotate. One, two, three, four. Kick back, rotate. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pulse palms up. If this is too much, just stand up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. I'm gonna go ahead and take one or two of those weights overhead. Bend and lift. One, two, three. Exhale, lift. Four, five. Keep that core nice and tight. Six, seven, eight. Nine minis, one, two, three, squeeze and push, four, relax your neck, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10. I'm gonna go ahead and drop one of those weights. So from here, you're gonna drop it across and lift it up. If you need to anchor and keep the hand in the elbow, one, two, 
three. Now squeeze that tricep, four and five. Now switch it, abs in, hold it. One and two, three, exhale, four and 50. Nice work. Second round of burpees. So as we go through now, we're gonna go front snap kick, front snap kick, stepper jump back, come back in, and then reset. So what I want you to do here is go right foot first, nice breath in, right, left, jump back and in, one, inhale, exhale, two, back to right, Left, three, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, exhale. Try to kick as high as your waist here. Five, inhale, exhale, six, inhale, exhale, seven, inhale, exhale, Eight, inhale, exhale, nine, one more, inhale, exhale, 20, pick up those weights again. All right, so bicep, tricep combo. So from here, kick back, pull up, run in place, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, switch, one, two. The foot comes back, that same arm kick back. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Stay here with your feet. One, two, elbow pivot point, three. Four, neck in neutral, five, six, seven, squeeze the bicep, tricep, eight, nine, back to that same side, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, here we go, finish strong, one, two, three, Four, kick back, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 50. Great work, take that down. Alternate, giving yourself a nice big hug. Inhale, exhale, let it go. Inhale, exhale, one more time, back and forth. All right, so now, third set of burpees, this time we just step back. So it's a little bit easier. We do have to jump in the middle of the movement. So from here, as we come down, you're gonna step back right, left, jump in, jump out. And then right, left, one. Step back, left, right, in, out, left, right, two. Right, left, in, out, and three. Left, right, in, out. Now four. Right, left, in, out, five. Left, right, in, out, six. Right, left, in, out, Seven, left, right, in, out, eight, right, left, in, out, nine, one more, left, right, in, out, and 10, 30. Take a big breath in, sweep it, two more times, just gonna open up the window here, Big breath in, big breath out. One more, reach for it. All right, so what we're gonna do 
is a curtsy lunge. And then you're gonna come to a lateral lift, okay? So most importantly, when we step here with that left foot, far enough here, keeping that pressure to the front heel, open, step. One, two. Now press through that right heel, squeeze up three. Four, through the heel, five. And six, don't shrug your shoulders. Seven, eight, that's the way. Nine, one more, first 10. Roll the hips, exaggerate, rewind it. Now we're gonna tap the other side. So that right foot, drop it, one, and two, and three. Exhale for four, and five, through that heel, six, and seven, three more now. Eight, two more times, nine, one more, and 10, roll back, that's 20. Now you're gonna lunge straight back, reverse lunge, same thing lateral, same foot, two, three, four, and five. Make sure you're not shrugging your shoulders, six, seven, press with that front heel, eight, nine, 30, roll the hips, very nice, rewind it, we want to watch the knees, keep the pressure in your heel, use the wall if you need to for stability, step back, one, two, and three, exhale, four, that's the way, five, and six, leave it those elbows, seven, Eight, two more, nine, that's 40, shoulders back. We're gonna alternate for the last 10. Inhale, exhale, two, four, hip distance so close, six, watch your neck, eight, nine, and 50, great work now. Take a moment, open it up, pull through, and really open up those shoulders, roll the rest, exaggerate, rewind it. Very nice. Other side, pull through. Inhale, roll the rest, rewind it. So now we're on our fourth set of burpees after this. That'll be 40. When we come back this time, what I want you to do is give me a leg lift. So very important. I have to jump with my feet closer together. So as I come back here and I lift, I want my feet to be close. If they're out like this and I try lifting, it's going to be a lot harder for to keep that spine in the neutral position. My hips don't want to rotate to compensate. So try to walk and bring your feet real close together and then squeeze and lift, okay? All right, so we're gonna be alternating big breath in. Inhale, exhale, jump back, feet close, right, left, one, left, right, two, right, left, three, Left, right, four, right, left, five, left, right, six, right, left, seven, left, Right, eight, right, left, 
Nine, one more. Left, right, and 10, 40. Open it up, draw that energy down, take that right shoulder and rotate. Keep your heart higher than your hips. Big inhale, rotate, other side. Wonderful work. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to work that scapula. So the goal here is to really pinch and squeeze those shoulder blades together, work that posture nice and tall. We're gonna come back to the calf raise for the first set. So toes forward, squeeze. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale, squeeze back. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now walk your toes out. Ready? One, two, 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 three, two, four, two. Now squeeze and lift. Five. Now six. Wrap those elbows around your back. Seven, eight, nine, and 20. Now pigeon toe. It's hard enough to keep those toes in, but we're gonna come up for a three count. Shoulders back. One, two, three. Two, two, three. Exhale for three. And four. Now pinch and squeeze. Five and six. Seven, two, three. Eight, nine, one more, and 10. Toes forward again, fast for 20 minis. Two, four, six, eight. Pop it up and squeeze every time. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Very nice, five, four, three, Two, one more, and one. Great job. I want you to step out into a lunge here, bending that right knee. Inhale, exhale, five, seven, nine. Rewind it, inhale, exhale, five, seven, nine, other side, open, inhale, exhale, five, seven, nine, rewind it, inhale, exhale, very nice, open, one, alternate, two, three, four, Five, alternate which one crosses. Six, seven, almost there. Eight, two more. Nine, one more. And 10. Wonderful job. Take a moment and roll the shoulders back. Try to increase that range of motion in your shoulders. And then roll them forward, exaggerate it forward. Inhale, very nice. Now we have 10 more burpees. So what we're gonna do here is that tadpole burpee. We're gonna try to stay low here, as low as we can. Okay, so tadpole frog. So I'm trying to stay here. When I jump back, I'm wider, abs are in. Come back in and try to stay low. If you gotta pop up, that's okay. So 10 times, ready? One. Two, and three, four, five, six, and seven, almost there. Eight, last two, nine, one more, and 10. I'm gonna straighten those legs out. Goodness gracious, and then roll it up tall. 
Very good. Now we're gonna move to those buns and we're gonna come down from here. Now, when we work the glutes, we have the three parts, okay? The maximus, the medius, minimus, and the medius at the top. So what we're gonna do first here, 25 each side, either stay on your palms or on your elbows. You're gonna bend your knee and lift your knee higher than your waist each time. Ready? One, two, hold on now. If you choose, take that weight, bring it behind your knee if you want. Two, three, four, pull your belly button in. Five, keep your neck in neutral. Six, and lift up that knee higher than the bed. Seven, eight, nine, 10, one, exhale, two, three, four, five, squeeze and lift, six, seven, eight, nine, five more right here, make it count, five, exhale, four, Three, squeeze it now. Two, one more. Very nice. First 25. I'm going to come into that puppy pose. Hips high, head low. And then I'm going to sink those hips back, but keep those fingers reaching and then add a gentle rotation side to side. Wonderful job. Now we're going to switch to the other side. Remember, added bonus. If you can add that weight, you guys, right behind that knee, bonus move right here. And every time you lift, that knee needs to be higher than your hip to fight gravity. So keep your hips square, abs in, exhale, one, two, three, neck in neutral, four, Five, exhale up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and two. Now flex your foot, squeeze at the top three. And four, squeeze and lift it. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, just give me five more, make these count. Five, four, don't let your low back say three, abs in, two, one more, and 50, very nice. 50 donkey kicks, push all the way back, lengthen that spine, rock those hips side to side. Very nice. So, that was this move here. We're just going to work that glute max. Now, our goal is going to be to work that minimus right along the side here of that glute. So from the front, I'm going to show you what this looks like. Now, when I come down from here, I'm going to drop down to that right elbow and that left palm. I'm going to externally rotate my knee and I want to swing my leg so that it stays at a 90 degree, and I wanna pull that knee back up. So if I'm here, this knee is not gonna drop the whole time, okay? I wanna to try to fight to keep that up higher than my hip. So abs in, ready, curl that back toe for balance. One, two, three, keep your knee up. Four, squeeze, five, and six, and seven. Add a little tuck back if you can. Eight, it's like a mini scorpion. Nine, first 10, one, exhale, two. Fight to keep it up now, three. You're working both sides, four, cross vector, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, now you're gonna give me right here five kicks. Five, four, knee high, three, two, 
and rest it. Push all the way back. Take those buns side to side. Great job. Okay, so now other foot, if I'm showing you from here, elbow comes down, knee comes up higher than my hip, and I'm swinging and pulling back. All right, so keep from here, that left palm down, left forearm down, right up. I'm gonna lift, swing, and push. One, two, three, inhale, exhale, four, and five, lengthen, and six, push. Seven, think of that little scorpion. Eight, keep your knee up. Nine, give me 10 more, now fight it. Keep that leg up, one, kick, two, and three. Now four, both sides firing, five, and six. Exhale, keep it up, seven. Now eight and nine, now five little kicks, five. Now four, pull three and two, one more. That's the way right there. Now take those knees out and push the hips back. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, exhale. Come into that cat cow, tuck that chin in, open, tuck, and open. One more time now. Awesome work. Okay, we've got one more set. We're gonna work those buns from every angle. So what we're gonna to try to do now is we're gonna do a standing deadlift. And what that does is that really activates this medius at that top of the glute. So when I come to a standing, and particularly when I stand on one foot, even if I have the other foot down, but most of that weight's on the front foot here, that pressure is gravitating up the hamstring and into the glute. So if you can, Balance, if not, you'll keep that back foot down, but really focus on pressing through that front heel. All right, let's make this count now. I can, let's do this. The first 10, we're gonna stagger the feet. Both feet are gonna stay on the floor with that right foot forward, shoulders back. I want you to follow down as far as you can. Your shoulders are back, your abs are in. Press through the heels and squeeze. One. Two, the bend and snap. Three, bend and snap. Four, lengthen. Five, hinge. Six, inhale. Seven, lengthen through that front hamstring. Eight, buns and chest out. Nine, and ten. Now switch feet forward. Stagger, inhale, lengthen. One, you're increasing that flexibility. Two, work in those hands. Three, lengthen. Four, inhale. Five, bend and snap. Six, dig the heel. Seven, now eight. And nine, one more. And 10, first 20. I'm gonna go back to the first foot now. Try to find the center of balance. Find a focal point and you're gonna gravitate as low as you can and step back up. Two, inhale, exhale. Three, keep your neck in neutral. And four, press through that heel. Five, exhale. Six, neck in neutral, shoulders back. Seven, lengthen. Eight, nine, one more. 30, switch feet, shoulders back, find that focal point. Remember, one side is always easier than the other. Lengthen and one. Press through that heel, activate. Two, all the way up to that glute medius. Three, lengthen, four, 
Squeeze and love. Five, six, exhale, seven. Now eight, keep that heel digging. Nine, one more. 40, now from here, shoulders back, belly button in. Give me 10 deadlifts. Pressing through both heels, shoulders back, belly button in, three. If you need to bend your knees, do it. You can bend and lift. Four, if you can keep it straight, squeeze all the way up through the hamstrings and the glutes, abs sit in tight, shoulders back. Give me five more. Exhale, one, lengthen. Two, watch your neck, it stays in the neutral. Three, lengthen that spine, buns and chest out. One more, and 50. Great job, that's the way to do it right there. So now, standing number four stretch, open. I'm gonna externally rotate here and cross it. Prior position and sink. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Two more. You can always sit, have a seat. You can also use the wall. Step it back up. Open. Number four. Cross it together. And you sink as low as you can. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time now. Great job. Open it up. We're going to pick up those weights. Now this is going to be a hinge forward bend. So I'm going to show you from the side. I'm taking the weights and they're coming right into my hip flexor. The motion is going to be to come to a flat back from here and then lift back up. However, the arms are going to be open into a diamond position. So I'm gonna sink from here and then draw those arms up in a diamond without shrugging my shoulders, keeping this from here nice and open. So hinge from your hip, inhale, exhale, one. Buns and chest out, exhale, two. Nice flat back, three. Inhale, exhale, four. Press through the heels and squeeze the buns. Five, hinge, six, inhale, seven. Keep that diamond with the arms. Eight, nine, one more. Now when I come up, inhale, exhale, windshield wiper. If I need to, I could do one arm one time, then the next the other. Ready? Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, three. That's the way. Spread the wings. Four, shoulders relax. And for five. Give me five more like this. One. And two. Pull that belly button tight. And three. That's a four, one more now. Five, let it go, roll back. Very nice. Now we're gonna incorporate the diamond, we're just changing the feet position. So we're gonna try to come to a tree pose. And this is when we just externally rotate this foot. It can be low, medium, or high. So the same arm and leg is out, alternate, one. Two, three, four, nice diamond shape. Five, palm in, palm out. Six, seven, eight, two more. Nine, one more. And rest it, place it down. Roll it back. Very nice. Other side, make it 40. So I'm gonna externally rotate and lift up that foot as high as I feel comfortable. Same arm comes out. One, two, three, four, five. Abs in nice and tight. Six, 
Find that center, seven, eight, two more. Nine, one more time now. And 10, relax it, one more time. Hinge, one. Two, nice flat back, press through those heels, three. Squeeze it up now, four. Exhale, five. Now five with that open windshield for five. And four. Here we go, three. Exhale, two, you got one more right here. That's the way, 50. Let that go. Roll those arms all the way back. Inhale, exhale, spread your wings, and then draw them open and pull them forward. One, two, and three. Lunge once again. One, two, three, four, rewind. One, two, Three, four, five. Now open and stretch. Push your bottom hip forward. Line it up. Inhale. Lengthen your front leg. Open triangle. Draw the bottom hip forward. Push through that back foot. Rotate. Open up through the shoulder. Five, four, three, two. Rewind it. One, two, three, four, and five. Tuck it and reach it. So nice big stretch here. Rotating that bottom hip forward. Nice inhale. Nice exhale. Lengthen the leg. Open up into that triangle and rotate those hips forward. Big breath in. Bottom hip comes forward. Now to the middle from here. I'm going to reach my fingertips out as far as I can. If it doesn't work, I take my weights, push those palms into the weight, drive those hips back. All right, now, whew, the monkey squat. So this time we have the weights on either side, and you're going to bend your knees and come down and pop it back up. This one is hard because the heart naturally wants to come down. So I'm just trying to squat down as low as I can, keeping my head high. Ready? One, two, three. Buns and chest out, four, and five. Now six, and seven, eight, nine, one more. First 10. Now open up your toes. Weights are coming in the middle. Come up on your tiptoe. One, two, and three. Try to keep your heart high. Four. If you can, externally rotate five. If you need to come wider, that's fine. Six. Now seven. Eight. Nine. That's the way. 20, now I'm gonna open up into a plie. So as far wide as I can, one, two, and three, shoulders back, four, exhale for five, tummy's tight, six, now seven, eight, nine, I'm gonna pop up on that right toe, pulse, one, two, three, four, stick with me, six, Seven, eight, last 10, other foot. One, two, and four. Dig that right, push to the left. Three, two, and one. Great work. Lengthen, I'm gonna follow the line of my legs. Keep that heart as high as my hips. Reach those fingers behind me. Big breath in now. Very good. So we're going to be coming down, doing that external rotation of those buns. This one probably is one of my top movements that I really like, probably the most challenging because you feel like your leg is barely lifting off the floor. 
Even if you lift your knee a half of an inch and you feel it in the side of your boot, you got it. So we're going to come down from here. Now, what I do is I externally rotate like you got a piece of pizza here on your leg. You're taking your right toe and the instep of your left knee. You're going to take your forehead, place it down, and you're going to curl the opposite leg, toe down. So that's your leverage. And what you're going to do is you're going to exhale and lift that knee up. Now, I want to try not to rotate my body. So I can do this probably all day long. But if I'm coming from here and trying to keep my hips square, the goal is to just use the side of my glute to lift. All right, are you ready? Lengthen, squeeze your glute. Ready? One, two, three. Now lift and squeeze. Four, five. Just a half of an inch. Six. Seven, eight, nine, pulse it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm going to hold it for ten, lengthening and squeezing, eight, six, four, two, that's thirty, pulse it, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, last ten, one, two, three, squeeze it, four, five, you got this, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let it go. Just gently look to that right side and alternate. Kick one foot and then the other. Wonderful job. Now, before we get into any crazy stretches, what we're going to do is we're switching. So now I'm lengthening that right, taking that left, and externally rotating and pressing those palms down, lifting up that knee, other knee, and back down. So we got 50. Now squeeze your glutes, protect your back, curl the toe. One, two, three, four. Five, six, exhale it up, seven, eight, nine, ten pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I'm going to hold it. Lengthen, ten, nine, eight, squeeze it, seven, six, you got this, four, three, Two minis, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, full range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great job. I'm gonna take a moment here. Elbows under the shoulders. Squeeze the glutes and roll from here. Ear to shoulder, chin to chest. Now, if it feels comfortable, palms under the shoulders, push all the way up. Lengthen the spine and push back. Puppy pose. Hips high, head low. Now, reach back, child's pose. Lengthen that spine. Rock those hips side to side. Give yourself a great big stretch here in your hip and your low back. We're going to thread the needle. So what I want you to do is lengthen here and extend your right leg out and then open. Now open up your heart all the way to the side. Big breath in. Now I'm going to tuck that under and reach all the way over to my left side. I'm trying to fight to lengthen that leg. Relax into the ear and the side of the head. Big breath in. Nice big breath out. And then from here, I'm going to take that left hand and reach towards my foot. Now really open and reach open up through the shoulder. Take a great big breath here. Inhale. Now exhale. 
Release your seat, tucking that back foot in. Now I'm gonna reach down this leg. If I can touch the toe, I'm gonna come right over the top. I wanna to relax that left tip. Look up towards the ceiling. Feel that space along the oblique in that hamstring. Now come over the top. Nice deep breath here. Now that wild thing pose, I'm gonna take from here that left hand in, reach that right arm. Now push the hips forward, keep that neck in neutral, squeeze the glute. Big inhale. Big exhale. Let that go and let's thread the needle and finish on the other side. So open up the heart all the way to the side. Big breath in. Now I'm gonna thread all the way underneath and away. Big breath in, ear in the side of the head. Open up that back, open up through the shoulder. Big inhale. Nice big exhale. Walk it back up, right hand reaches all the way towards that left, reaching through those left fingers all the way forward. Big breath in now. Take one more big inhale. As you exhale, walk it back up, release your seat, lengthen that leg, follow it down. So as I draw over, I wanna keep that right hip down if I can. Open up through my oblique, relax my neck and then come over the top. One more time now. Wild thing, pull it in close. Push those hips up. Take a nice relaxed lift. I want you to push and squeeze. Hip flexor open. Reach for those fingertips and lengthen. One line from your toe to your hip to your fingertip. Release that seat. And then from here, cross-legged sitting. Now I want you to roll the shoulders back. One, two, and three. Now forward, inhale, exhale, great work. I want you to take a big breath in. Inhale, positive, exhale, spread your wings, let go of anything negative. Take your fingers right behind you. Look all the way to your left. Drop that ear to the shoulder, rotate back up, look all the way to the right, ear to shoulder, chin to chest. Reach for the sky and exhale, pull that energy into the heart center. Separate your palms, look down towards your left. Relax that ear towards the shoulder, open up that right side of your neck, chin to chest, other side. Create that nice space, push through the fingers, open up your wrist. Let's do one more big breath here. Inhale, positive. All the good things in your life, pull them right into the heart center and let go of anything that doesn't serve you that you can't change. Gently bow your head. Namaste. Have a wonderful evening. Fantastic job. Great job, you guys.